next uh, task on hand here is the uh, throttle cable linkage here. And at first glance, I thought I was going to be able to just connect the throttle cable directly to the injector pump uh, arm here. Uh, by moving or getting a longer throttle cable, there used to be a bracket connected right here that looked like it was going to be set up pretty close to perfect for uh, for this throttle cable. And as I poked around, uh, originally, you know, my first problem was just trying to find a throttle cable that was long enough. And as I poked around trying to solve that problem, realized, hey, we also got to connect the uh, TV cable. Um, this is a 700R4 transmission, requires a TV cable to change the, uh, the shift points, and uh, that cable needs to be pulled uh, to operate the valve in the transmission. So um, with, with a throttle cable pulling the injector pump arm this way, we needed something to pull the TV cable this way. So I have seen some people that, that extend an arm off the back side of the linkage here, run the TV cable up closer to the in intake manifold here, and uh, wasn't really satisfied with that. So I started looking uh, elsewhere, and the 6BT on the Gen 1 Dodge uses a uh, bell crank assembly that is mounted back here further aft on the engine. It uses a connecting rod to connect from the bell crank to the linkage or to the arm here on the injector pump. And then uh, that allows you the opportunity on the back side or the bottom side of that bell crank as the throttle cable pulls this way, um, the bottom side of it on the other side of the pivot arm will pull, which we should be able to connect the TV cable and uh, adjust the linkage that way. So, uh, good thing for the internet, right? Uh, lots of information out there about uh, the geometry of that and uh, how to set it up. So, we're gonna work our way through that. I've already um, machined a pivot point, uh, a couple of bearings. I think these came out of <laughs> my daughter's skateboard and uh, machine this aluminum part to uh, we'll cut some arms or uh, uh, plates. Probably originally, or to begin with, it'll be a big round plate, and then we should be able to drill the holes and uh, adjust the, uh, the travel and the geometry and all uh, for these different arms uh, on the round plate. And then once we get it worked out, we can uh, then trim that out and make it look uh, a little bit better. But right now, I think it's going to be uh, wise to start with a big round plate. Gives us lots of opportunity to drill holes and adjust the, uh, the geometry of all this stuff. So starting off with bracketry to, uh, to hold that pivot point. It'll be mounted back here um, just aft of the injector pump. And uh, we'll have to build some arms and all to, uh, to expand over uh, this, to, to connect it to the engine, to hold it securely. But here we go. All right, and just like that, Ben and I knocked out a uh, bracket here that holds our pivot point and we glued so we could uh, help calculate uh, the geometry to make all this work. And we've got the throttle, the new throttle cable in here. I've got some rubber bands holding it in the uh, idle position or the closed throttle closed or ejector pump <laughs> idle position and uh well here's a rod and this is not uh what i'm going to use this is just kind of mock-up purposes because the the parts i ordered uh, with the rod ends and all aren't here yet uh, actually they're supposed to be in today but this is going to help us uh, with uh, mocking this all up and, and trying to figure out the geometry on this now the throttle, um, I measured it from open to closed position and it swings um, about two and a quarter inches. The throttle pedal itself does, where this arm right here only moves from open to closed position about an inch and a half. And that's not accounting for this uh, kind of spring detent that uh, I'm not sure why it's there. 
but I'm not going to, I'm probably not going to use that. I'm hoping to, uh, to be able to rig this thing so the throttle, it, it may pull a little bit on the cable in the closed position or the idle position, but in the wide open position, I'm hoping to adjust it so the, the pedal <laughs> inside the cab is on the floor right before it hits this, uh, you know, the wide open throttle stop there and before it bumps up against this spring. Uh, just to make it easier for adjusting the TV cable because that's the starting point for adjusting the TV cable is with the, uh, the wide open throttle position. Now I hope that's clear, but I want uh, the TV cable, um, now that I'm thinking through this out loud, that's probably why people braise these up because right when this lower lever arm right here touches the, the wide open throttle position, that's when the TV valve should be opened all the way up or the cable should be pulled completely. So if the throttle is allowed or the pedal is allowed to travel past that position, it's going to be pulling harder on the TV cable and I'm, you know, past the stop basically. And I'm sure we don't want that. So more to come on that. I'm sure that may give us problems down the road and, uh, hmm. I'll try to figure out a solution for that as we work through it. All right, we're over here on the bench trying to sort out uh, how we're going to make up the difference between this uh, two and a quarter inch travel versus the uh, one and a half inch travel. This is the uh, throttle pedal. As you go from uh, idle to wide open or floored position, the uh, cable will pull on a linear, uh, you know, two and a quarter inches linear. And the uh, uh, injector arm only needs to travel without that extra cushion of that, that spring mechanism in the arm an inch and a half. So we would like, uh, you know, the difference of those is uh, three quarters of an inch here. And we'd like to make up that difference instead of limiting the, the throttle, how far you can push the pedal down we would like to use our wheel here to make up that difference that three quarters of an inch difference so when you're driving the truck you know idle is with the pedal all the way back and wide open is with the the pedal all the way to the floor so Hence the reason, um, part of the reason why we created a circle on this and, uh, you know, arbitrarily I made it a, a four inch um, ring, just hopefully that, you know, hoping that would be enough travel that we could make up that difference or, you know, that that would be enough arm length and it, it looks like it is. So um, how do we determine where to drill these holes? and how much, you know, obviously the throttle pedal cable needs to be farther out on the arm than <laughs> the injector arm. Sorry for the distractions uh, in the shop here. We have a new uh, new dog and uh, the cats have been run out of the shop um, during the day when I'm uh, babysitting the dog here. I'll, I'll show you the dog in a minute, but uh, anyways, he, uh, she, it's not a he, it's a she, is uh, very active out here. So anyways, the, uh, the throttle cable, uh, where was I? Holy smokes. Uh, the throttle cable pivot point is going to need to be farther out here on the arm uh, than the injector pump uh, arm attach point. So uh, we'll be able to make up the difference, that three quarters of an inch difference with the geometry of this. All right, so there's probably a mathematical formula, but hey, why do that when all I got to do is, uh, you know, cut a couple of pieces of wire, uh, fill a rod or, you know, this is wire for the, uh, uh, for the, uh, what do you call it? The MIG gun. <laughs> so one's, uh, one's two and, uh, two and a quarter inches long and one is uh, inch and a half long. So if we just use the zero point here 
on our compass and uh, I think you know when, when we drill here's the pivot point here for the throttle hookup so it's a it's a quarter 20 I believe maybe a quarter 24 I guess is probably what that thread pitch is not that that makes any difference you got to drill a quarter inch hole for for this a ball to fit in this piece of metal that we're working with here and it'll be a quarter inch hole for um, the bolt going through for the rod end uh, for the attachment of the injector pump arm as well so we got to leave some edge distance here so I'm thinking that uh, right about in the middle of this uh, these two rings is a good point to start with for a quarter inch hole leave enough edge distance now these you know we're talking about linear distance here so I uh, tried to make these as straight as possible not perfect but um, good enough I think so if we we put that wire right on our dot there and move it so the other end of the wire uh, is in the center point you can see that we're uh, right at about 80 degrees almost right on the nose there so uh, you see on my chicken scratching here at 80 degrees um, and then measured from the center point of the pivot point to out here so 80 degrees at 1 and 13 sixteenths will yield a two and a quarter inch linear pull all right so now let's see what we need to do um, with that throttle cable pulling this wheel 80 degrees around right we only need the injector arm to move an inch and a half all right so we'll start this inch and a half wire at uh, Stand by one. Hey, quit chewing up the creeper. Come on. Well, at least it's not the creeper. All right, how can a guy work with such distractions? <laughs> All right, so uh, we just basically got to make those parallel and touch those two lines, and then we should have the injector arm moving at the same, you know, the same linear path, or the same length, they're different, <laughs> different length, but you know what I mean, all right. So it looks to me like that's pretty close right there, and when I measured it before, it came out to be right about an inch. Well, it looks like it's um, a little more. I'll re-measure these, but because I didn't think of the wired mechanism uh, until uh, right when I was setting up to, to film this for y'all I was using a ruler before so this looks like a little bit more accurate I'll measure that but that'll be our point in which we need to drill um, the attachment for our actual our, our injector pump arm all right, uh, I re-indexed this thing just so we would have zero up top. I think that's going to help us uh, down the road when we uh, when we lay out this uh, wide open throttle position and the closed throttle position for the TV cable. But uh, nevertheless, uh, we're still at about 80 degrees here, and uh, inch and 13 sixteenths. I didn't double check that measurement, but it uh, doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, this was a little bit farther out than I thought it was. Um, it's the inch and three sixteenths for the uh, injector arm attach point. So I'm going to go ahead and drill those now. <laughs> you may wonder why I still have the Clecos in holding this ring to our pivot point. Our bearings is because, <laughs> hey, if this goes wrong, <laughs> I could change this ring easy enough without drilling out all those rivets when uh when this up gets all set up and everything's working fine i'll trim this out to be uh, instead of being a big circle it'll be just arms probably two arms i think it, that's all it'll be one arm sticking off here and then i think the other one 
is going to stick off in this direction. The rest of it will be trimmed down basically to the flange of the pivot point. And then, uh, then I can, uh, when everything's working well, I can then rivet it on there and be done with it. But uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we won't have to make multiple prototypes here, but uh, we, we often have to. So uh, let's get to drilling. Auto cable um, pivot point and the uh, injector arm pivot point have been installed and our temporary injector arm uh, rod has been installed, adjusted and installed. But we're off just a little bit on our dimensions. Uh, if you see, uh, well, a couple problems. One is I don't really like this big bow in the cable here. So this bracket will probably need to be uh, adjusted or moved up probably about uh, maybe half an inch or maybe even a little bit more. Um, and also when we move the throttle cable, go ahead, Ben. You can see, uh, back up, Ben, go real slow. So when we hit the stop, the wide open stop, which is about right there, and we still have travel left. Keep going, Ben. There you go. It keeps, it goes up against that spring, which we didn't want to do. So we've got two choices. We can either lower this pivot point here, and swing around, I lower this pivot point, or we can move this pivot point up. We'll lower this one down or move this one up. And I think uh, we'll wind up lowering the outer one just because of this bow and the cable here. So uh, we'll make an adjustment and see what that gives us. I'm thinking about uh, maybe even just elongate the hole there so I can adjust it till we find the right pivot point. But at this point, we're just about uh, determined or uh, forced into uh, to making another one of these circles. And uh, so we'll fine tune it on this one and then use it for a pattern and make another one. All right, sometimes you just gotta do it wrong to figure it out. <laughs> and I did, I slotted that, uh, you know, I made a slot in here and moved this attach point down and uh, tried it and it was worse. But hey, after about, I don't know, five or six times of pushing on the accelerator pedal and scratching my head, I realized, yeah, that's the way it should work. We actually have to come out, uh, this pin has to come out farther because it needs to travel farther. You know, it, it, the arm has to be extended for this to travel a longer arc for this one to go the same distance or less distance. Boy, that's clear as mud, isn't it? Well, you guys know what I'm talking about. So uh, I'm gonna have to cut another circle, uh, probably cut it at least a half inch larger in diameter uh, to give me more space to fiddle with this thing. But uh, that's, uh, that's what we're gonna need to do. All right, uh, goof is all fixed here. And uh, I made another um, plate, another ring, circle, whatever. And I've extended uh, this pin, the pivot point out just slightly and uh, uh, it's working. It's, it's in good, sh it, it's right where it needs to be. So the distance between this pin and this pin is, uh, is, is a proper distance. And when I push the accelerator pedal from uh, the you know idle position all the way to full throttle, the, this arm moves uh, just the right amount and doesn't get into the cushion uh, of this uh, spring mechanism here. Uh, you can also see that I've uh, uh, changed over to, uh, to the arm that I want to use or the rod that I want to use here. Uh, don't ask me why one rod end is red and one is not. Uh, you got to push all the right buttons when you're ordering parts or you get uh, mismatched parts and uh, that's what I did. So, uh, hmm, I'll see what I can do about that. All right, so uh, I also changed this bracket here. I moved um, this attach point up about an inch and 
it looks like uh, from looking through the viewfinder here that there is still a dip in this cable and there is really uh, not much one at all. I mean, maybe slightly, but there was before. Uh, there was quite a, uh, you know, come out of the firewall, dip down, and then come, had to come back up here to, uh, to the pivot point here. And I didn't like that, so I extended this bracket up and welded it together. And uh, I like it, it's a lot better. It's nice and straight, and I think it's gonna work fine. So, you know, it's, well, there goes Jetson. All right, so uh, now, uh, hmm, what to do next? I think we're gonna start working on the TV cable and uh, try to get the geometry right on it. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up uh, for now. I uh, got the, uh, well, I got it, you know, basically finished, except for I'd like to do something about that cable bug there. That uh, that kind of drives me nuts. That's what the, the TV cable came with to adjust it. And, uh, well, it looks kind of hokey dokey to me. So we'll test run it, and when we get it, uh, you know, adjusted just perfectly, um, we'll go ahead and put a swedge on there and get rid of that cable bug. Uh, everything else is uh, pretty much done. Uh, I've got the uh, hardware set up the way I want, um, except for <laughs> I need to change out one of these rod ends. But uh, repainted the bracket and a couple lightning holes, as well as I trimmed the bracket up here or the, the big circle into a, uh, a bell crank looking deal, uh, riveted it together. And I think that's uh, uh, that turned out nice and, and good to go here. So um, hopefully, uh, hopefully this all works, and, uh, or at least I can adjust it to work. Um, oh yeah, one more deal. This TV cable that I bought is not one of the uh, automatic adjustable type where you um, set it to the far back position and then uh, push the throttle all the way open and then it ratchets out to the, to the correct position. It does have the ability to adjust it on the sleeve, but it's not the automatic type. So uh, I did screw it out there a little bit. So I have some adjustment to push it back towards the firewall or there's a whole lot more adjustment to, to run it towards the bracketry here. So we'll see what it needs uh, once we get it up and running and uh, moving. Hopefully, uh, you know, I, I rigged it out according to the instructions that I downloaded off the internet and hopefully, uh, hopefully it's gonna work uh, as advertised in the position that it's in. But hey, that's, uh, that's the throttle setup and the uh, TV cable, and uh, hopefully all that works.